Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So we are doing something a little bit different and going no makeup because here in the UK it is so hot. It's hit like 30 degrees or something crazy and it's I mean, it's actually incredible, but it's just so stuffy and there was no way I could sit here with all of these lights and put a full face on. It feels kind of weird, but it does also feel quite freeing. So anyway, for this video, we're going to talk about how you need to just stop being so hard on yourself. And this is something that my family will tell you I have honestly confronted so much over the past few years because I would always be really really hard on myself especially when it comes to money and music and my career path and everything so I want to put this message out there for anyone that is dealing with this and that puts a lot of pressure on themselves to whether it be to achieve something like a goal or a job or whatever or whether it be in relationships as well because I do feel like it can seep into all areas of our lives and for me, something that I've learned when we start to apply too much pressure on ourselves, it tends to come from like a fear-based belief. And for me, it was a fear or a belief of not being good enough and like not, not achieving it fast enough, getting too old to achieve it, like time passing me by, you know, not believing that it was possible for me or that I was good enough and capable of doing it and all of those kind of things. So I do feel like when we pile on that pressure, it tends to restrict us and turn into this like panic mode or survival mode and I feel like it becomes so restrictive that you don't end up moving because you're basically suffocating yourself you know a little bit of um pressure can be good because it's what's gonna drive you and motivate you to actually get up and go after what you want like you need a little bit of pressure but when it becomes so suffocating that you don't even function like you can't get out of bed your thoughts start to spiral and bring up so much anxiety because you're panicking about the future or you're stressing about the past and the pressure just gets too much to the point where you don't end up actually doing anything and you get a bit stuck and this definitely happened to me especially when I was going through depression for I don't even know how many years I think it was like two or three years that I experienced it and Honestly, I did nothing. I achieved nothing in that time because I was just so stressed out and so beating myself up all of the time that I couldn't achieve anything because even when the idea of what I wanted to do would come into my mind, the pressure was so much that I just didn't believe I could do it. So I didn't do it, you know, like I didn't take any action because I was just so caught up in my head and so unmotivated by all of the fear and all of the self-doubt and just the negative talk that you can get stuck in when you're applying so much pressure to yourself. So yeah, it's just really important, I feel like, to be aware of the thoughts that are coming up when that type of situation happens, like what is the story? What is the narrative that you're now telling yourself as to why you need to hurry up and get on and do the thing that it is that you want yourself to do? Like why do you feel so like urgent about it or so restrictive about it or so uncomfortable about it and just uncovering your beliefs maybe a meditation or some quiet time just sitting with yourself and listening and observing your mind and the thoughts that are coming up and even um going into that emotion I like to do that in visualization as I've talked about many times of visualizing what that emotion looks like or what version of you it is that feels that way you know sometimes it's my inner child sometimes it's a teenage version of me sometimes it's like the grandmother elder kind of version of me that I go and speak to who would be a future version but you can still go speak to the future version of you and just have a conversation and hear what it is that they're fearing, what it is that they're feeling, why they're feeling that way, like what kind of belief they hold so that you can actually observe it and become aware of it because you can't change it or do anything about it if you don't even know what it is, you know? So just going into that emotion and uncovering it so that you know where it's stemming from, like um, the belief that it's stemming from and also understanding that 
the majority of our beliefs. A lot of the beliefs that we've held have been a generational thing that has not come from our soul or our hearts. It's come from a generational brainwashing program kind of thing, like an algorithm that we've all been on throughout the years where it's just been passed down and we've just accepted it and taken it on because we didn't know any better. And now the fact that you're sitting here watching videos like this and that you're trying to become more self-aware, you're wanting to write your own program, you know, you're wanting to create your own algorithm and run off of the frequency and soul mission of your soul and of your heart and of the reason why you're even here. If you're wanting to do that, then... I mean, that's an incredible thing, but also, like, it's something that you can actually do and something that's so simple, simple but not easy to do, but also so liberating when you start to walk this path. And it's not something that you'll just flick a switch and solve. It's something that you work at daily to in each moment becoming aware of the fact that you're applying the pressure, going into the emotion to understand why you're applying the pressure, what the pressure's even about, and then acknowledging the fact that that's so valid and so real because it's something that you feel and it's something that you've owned and you've walked and held onto for so long. So you're accepting the fact that that's there and then also looking at how you do want to feel and the belief that you do want to hold because that belief is also true at the same time and I think just kind of being able to look at all perspectives like look at the whole picture not just from that one angle not just from the angle of what you want it to become but just everything you know and that can take time and it takes practice and everything but doing that every day is a game changer because so much can shift in a random little moment and you might not even realize it at the time but then the next time that uh pressure comes up again and you do the same process you might be able to release and move that emotion a lot faster than what you used to you know so it takes a daily practice but it's so incredible and so freeing and then you can look back in a few years time and be like holy shit i really did that like i'm in such a different place you know so anyway, I hope this episode was helpful. Thank you for listening on the podcast apps as well as watching on YouTube. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me, all of my information, my music, my phone number, because I do send daily spiritual inspirational thoughts and videos, as well as my jewellery brand, one-to-one -one sessions with me, um, everything else about me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, oh.